Good morning, Temple Israel of Greater Miami. I hope that this message finds you all in good health and uh, grateful that we have made it into the new year. And I hope a little bit replenished and a lot bit plugged into all the potential that we have in front of us. I just finished a book by one of my favorite authors, A.J. Jacobs, and it's called Thanks a Thousand. He's one of my favorite authors because he looks at life through these eyes that I think slow us down a little bit and allow us to really have gratitude for everything in every minute and every second of our life. So this book is about how he decides to take his cup of coffee that he eats, that he drinks every morning and to go back to the very first place that the seed was planted for his coffee and say thank you to each person that created it. Every single step from the grower to the driver of the beans, to the grocery store, to the coffee maker, to the barista, to the person, the cashier at the Starbucks. He goes through every step. And I was thinking about this past high holidays and how I had the opportunity to really speak from the Bema um, authentically about all the people that I was grateful for who had helped the high holidays come to be. And I realized that I left out two people that without the high holidays never would have been communicated and the vision that I have never would have been brought to life without them. So I wanna take this time not only to thank them publicly, but to let you know that without these two, we would not have known a thing about what the High Holidays were about, where we could go to find anything about them, when there was a delay, what we were doing. So I wanna thank Jason Weeks, who works on our um, publicity and who made this incredible program and who did everything within the program, all of the images and the everything, every single thing he took discussions we had together and he added his own talent and his own creativity and really brought my ideas to paper. And so I really wanna thank Jason, not just for his professionalism and for his talent, but also for his friendship and his sense of vision. And to Fran Levy, our uh, web designer, Fran was who brought every single thing of the High Holidays plus all of Temple Israel for the last year up to date and brought us into the future in a way that I don't think even I could imagine through her talent and her persistence and patience and uh, seemingly holy understanding of what's in my head before even I get it, Fran has allowed our congregation to move forward in communications in a way that I don't think that we could have expected a year ago. So when I was trying to uh, speak from the Bema and give gratitude to our producers who deserved it, our staff which deserved it, our clergy team and our custodial team, everybody, everybody deserved it. But I misstepped because Jason and Fran and their talents allowed us to communicate with you all of the challenges, all of the celebrations and everything in between having to do with High Holidays and beyond. So I am eternally grateful to the two of them, to our entire Temple Israel team and to all of you I hope that you found High Holidays meaningful. I hope that you had no challenges getting on for Yom Kippur. And I hope that you'll go to our webpage and you will look at all of our publications and not only feel a complete sense of transparency, but a true sense of elevation when it comes to being able to understand our message and our vision and the expression and the time it takes to put it out there. So I look forward to watching the High Holidays on our website. So if there is anything that you missed or anything you want to relive again, that you have the opportunity to do so, I want to thank all of you who volunteered, all of our board of trustees members, past presidents, our religious school teaching faculty. I want to thank all the families, many of whom uh, recorded things in their own homes, the three Havdalah families. We will absolutely get your Havdalah blessings put online. We're sorry about that technical glitch. But all in all, this is a holiday and Jews are people who are full of gratitude. My heart is overwhelmed and saturated with the amount of gratitude I have for all of you and for how these high holidays turned out. I hope that you will join us for Sukkot and Simchat Torah, the last two of our high holidays. And then I'm gonna take a rest for about one night and then I'm gonna wake up the next morning and can't wait to take us to the next level and see where we can go in our health and in our uh, family. I look forward to all of this and I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. Take good care. Have a great day.